So, I'm a left robot. I'm quite a fine left robot at that. I'm from Ireland. Those of you who don't know, this is hard. Back in 48, I jump on this boat. I get booted off here in Oregon. I get captured by this man. I had a fine mind not to take his eyes off me neither. So, he says, I want me pot of gold. Goes on and on about this pot of gold crap. I said to him, no, we don't do that. I can, I can give you three wishes. I can't make no one die. And I can't make no one love you. But I can give you a damn near anything else you want. So what does he wish for? He wants me to write his silly piece for the paper. The local rag that he writes for. So I say, okay. Granted, it's yours. Secondly, he wants a park. Park for his family to gather and hang out. Fine, it's yours. I gave him that park. You wanna see it? Ah, oh, hell. Let's go, come on, I'll show you. Is this thing on? You see him? That's me part. No, 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 no. Go, go down. There. Yeah. The city runs it nowadays. They put this damn fur in it every year. Don't understand what that's all about. It's the smallest in the world. It's a leprechaun joke. It's small. We, we pack. That's Mill's End, named after the article that I wrote for that man who captured me that some. 50 years ago. He up and died when I was writing that article. I go back to Ireland. I'm sitting in the pub. This young man with a backpack comes inside. He says to me, I'm from Portland, Oregon. I say, I own a park in Portland, Oregon. And so I remember, that's me park. I want me park back. So I hop the first rainbow back over here. That's a weed, we leprechaun joke again. I actually took a boat. Ah, oh, shit. I'm cracking myself up, man. I'm a handsome lad, I swear to God. So anyways, I get back here, and I see what they've done to me, Park. Well, that's not fair. Mills End, I want it back in a proper name. A leprechaun's name. The name's Malarkey. Remember that. You'll be hearing a lot more Malarkey. Pop thing out of my face. You get this guy. So that's what he tells me, this malarkey. Claims that he's a leprechaun. All right. If you're a leprechaun, why don't you use your magic to get back your park? He tells me he could, but he wants to try using the American justice system. <laughs> yeah. Got off to a rough start. <laughs> malarkey. <laughs> he's not, he's not going to be here, is he? Okay, comes in here and starts to explain to me that first he's a leprechaun, and secondly, Millen's Park is his, and he wants it back. And I begin to explain to him, well, he can't just come in here and get the park. He's going to have to find a lawyer. If you've got the negatives, then you're okay. Yeah, and those strippers have rights too, darling. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, how you doing? Richard Tipping? Senior partner, Dewey Cheatham and Howe. We're here to represent the little guy. Ah, oh, that little shit. Yeah, well, um, I've taken his case, obviously. I mean, he's a difficult character, but, um, you know, he's got a pot of gold, so you know he's going to pay his bills, right? Imagine the headlines. Yeah. Have you met him? Say so you no know to story. Yeah, well, we're very confident about the case. I mean, his contract with the writer, I mean, it was non-traditional, but totally legally binding. Devil versus Daniel Webster. If you wager with the devil, there's a legally binding contract. It doesn't have to be signed in blood. You want the city's official opinion. The city's official opinion is that Mr. Malarkey is a menace to society, and he cannot inhabit the park. It is not his park. It clearly belongs to the city. He's brought up this thing, size, discrimina size discrimination. If that ain't the most ridiculous thing, because we don't care if you're two foot, three or six foot, nine or eight feet, 12. You have to follow the rules. Now, this is not a designated camping area. In the beginning, we're just dealing with this very eccentric character, Total Yahoo. He wants us to film him. Of course, we're going to do that. 
very quickly it became apparent that we were also dealing with a very real social issue. It's tiring work being a leprechaun. Sometimes people just don't understand what you do. But there's also little nuances and, and things that you know you don't get told in the beginning. You know, like like the whole you gotta keep X amount of, of, of gold coins in your pocket at all times and um, you know, basically, you're not supposed to get caught. However, you've got a quota of wishes every year that, you, that you've got to fill, so. He's gonna have to go down to City Hall, right down the road, and figure out who he needs to talk to there, petitions, they're gonna have to have, like, uh, city council meetings. He brought in the petition, and, uh, you know, lots of signatures, many of them very, very small signatures, but um, uh, I think very valid. Yes, he did. Um, very clever. Little bugger. He, uh, he got a permit from the city and he rented the park and he held his own demonstration in the park with this placard that said, um, what did that say? <sighs> Give me back my damn park. Well, that park was stolen from me. It was under duress. I was captured, and he asked me for a park. I had to give it to him by the bylaws of my people. But now, now that the laws have changed, and times are changing drastically, I want me park back. And I think it's only right that I get it back. You don't seem so interested. You should walk over there when you get a chance and look at that. Look at that gorgeous little plot of land. That was a damn leprechaun land, man. So. That, that there is for, for a wee folk, man. No, look at me when I'm talking to you. Thank you. Okay, let's get this straight. What exactly have you been doing for the last 30 years? Drinking. Drinking, okay. Drinking, yeah. Drinking. Uh, anything else? What's that thing you do? Uh, dancing. Da dancing. Dancing. Uh, shagging? Oh, yeah. I've been doing a lot of that. Uh, dipping. Shag Okay. So, okay, right. The drinking, lying, cheating, dancing, shagging, with that's not going to work. So what we need to do is, as far as the judge is concerned, we are going to say that you have been on extended psychological leave following an indentured servitude. Well, he bathed the second time he showed up in my office, and the third time um, I really felt he was maturing as a lobbyist when he wore pants. This... This justice system, it seems to be a crack, a real cluster, if you know what I mean. Tipping says I've got a uh, hearing coming up. Mr. Malarkey, Mr. Malarkey. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm afraid we don't have any comments about the case at this time, but we are going to say that justice will prevail. Once again, we are seeing the bureaucracy of the city crushing the little man. What my this friend here is trying to say is that we've been oppressed, and this oppression will not stand. We're here to fight City Hall against all of this crap. Thank you. And we do believe that some officials in the city government are ginger files. So we will be taking that into consideration as we proceed with our what, case. What Thank you for your interest. Out. I'll tell you later, Mr. Lucky. Thank you very much. Oh, he's been a disturbance. And he's a violent little fucker. Pardon my language. <laughs> my French. He's assaulted a parks and rec. A uh, worker? Ah, he may have made some indirect threats to someone down at Parks and Recs, something about turning them into an ass. And I mean, just total whacked out, threatens to turn me into an ass. Threatens to turn me into an ass. And I'm like, okay, no, this is not the zoo. We don't put up with that kind of behavior here. I can't believe that he would even try to fight this, but that's malarkey for you. That little shit. The man is abusive. He's a violent little mother. I'm gonna tell you something. I came in the other day and my desk is full of haggis. You know what haggis is? Well, it's one thing to tangle with the law and disobey everything in the book. But when you start tangling with Roger Ryan, you're gonna find out it's a whole new ball game. His cause is probably my number one cause. Malarkey, the little park for leprechauns, um, then school funding, and then more jail beds. So, I've been watching television lately. It's a fantastic little device. It's 
very uh, reach thousands and thousands of people. I really think that it could be useful in my plate here. How do you expect by regaining the park to regain the integrity of your people? Well, I believe it, that we people have, have been oppressed for a long time. And I don't mean we people, I mean we people. You know, you don't see us out there gallivanting the countryside, screaming about rights very often. You know, you see all these other sub subgroups of humans running around screaming, oh, we want this, oh, we want that. But you know, what it is is, as we've been shunned to the, to the, to the forest, we've been hidden away for, for hundreds of years now. You know, they've made holidays about us that we don't even know. 92.3 KGO and Iris Harrison here with Malarkey as a special guest for us today. He's taking on City Hall here in Portland. He's a leprechaun, okay, from Ireland. And he claims to own a little two by two foot oval on Southwest First and Taylor. Now, how are you doing this? I mean, obviously you're here, so you're using the radio. The radio, yeah. Do you have a lawyer to help you out with all this? I do, I do, Mr. Richard Tipping. He's a, a fine, well, he's an Englishman, which kind of fucking blows. Oh, but, but I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I had to put delay, because, you know, we can't say that over the air. Can't say fucking. Oh, I do want to talk to you. I can hear it. going to be so friendly it. with language. I want you to just try to keep in mind you can't be cussing. This is not what he wants to hear. He starts cussing up a storm, and I don't, I guess... Gaelic? Maybe? I don't know what it is. Nothing I've ever heard. I don't want to hear any bastard. I don't... Your yeah, bastard is a curse bastard word? Bastard is not a friendly word. Well, I mean, you're trying to get these people on well, your side, and it's just very important if they take offense at it, it's not going to get us anywhere. Yeah. And I, you know, okay. I hate to be this much, but I want to be wasting our time. Oh, no, 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 and no, I definitely no, no, don't no, want you to fine. be wasting your time. That's so, fine. No, no, there, it I, is. it's not like I've got a lot of time left, man. Well, maybe I do. That's <laughs> a leprechaun joke! Oh yeah. The one thing you can't fault Malarkey on is his sense of humour. Irish leprechaun, English lawyer. <laughs> it's a joke even the Irish could get. Little bastard. <laughs> it's contagious, man! Laughter! That's great! I'm laughing. I'm laughing on the inside, I am. There's, there's plenty of things that are gonna come out. It's all gonna come out. And we would get our way. I know that I'm going to be accused of, you know, only taking care of my own peeps, but um, this is a very small special interest. We ain't going to put up with it. He's fighting the law and the law is going to win. There is no gray area here. I find this petition to, from Malarkey on the Little Park issue to be very convincing. I've always been fond of fairies and rainbows, and um, I'm going to push it forward. He wants to fill out a permit to protest at the park, which, well, I had, to, he had the money, he had the paperwork, so I had to give him a permit. Then he wanted to get the alcohol permit, too. I'm ready to protest in my park today. I've got me, well, my, per my permits to be in the park. I've got me permits to drink in the park, which I don't know why I needed that. I don't have a problem drinking anywhere, ever. Now, your name is Malarkey. Is that your first name or your uh, last name? Shanagan Malarkey, yeah. It's my Shanigan. full name. Shanagan Malarkey. So you have the website. What's on the website? I don't know. <laughs> you have a website and you don't know what's on there? Uh, it's We've got a website. My lawyer tells me about that. He says um, that it's pisshell.org. And pisshell being people in support say help every leprechaun's livelihood. Dot org. And I don't know what ORG stands for. It. What is your political goal in regaining the park? You want it? I don't believe in politics at all. Where I come from, that's the man next door who dictates how you deal with him. As far as politicians go, I think they're all asses. And I don't have an affinity for ass. Well, I do have an affinity for a certain ass right now. That's for the shit. That man who asked for the three wishes. Kind of an idiot. Could have had anything. Fame, fortune, women. Um, I... <laughs> and no, he asked me for a pack. One thing that he did have right though was his opinion on that damn bagpipes, that screeching, howling thing. No self respecting leprechaun would ever put his mouth up against some damn sheep's blood, I tell you that. Ugh. Ugh. 
One day, when you're all working stiffs, and you're just some small man, you'll remember this. And you'll think to yourself, well, only if I had the gumption to stand up for what I have, or what's been taken from me. That's what's been taken from me, and I want it back. Thank you. But generally, we don't have disputes where I'm from. You know, it's generally very nice. Well, how do you settle disputes or, you know... Oh, we you... kick the living shit out of each other. <laughs> All right. Well, that would that would solve it, I guess. Absolutely. <laughs> Get drunk and beat the, beat the love. I, I, yeah, I, I'm ready. I'm ready that. for yeah. you now. Just take my bottle seal. <laughs> Extended psychological leave following an indentured servitude. No, no, I, I, I don't get it. Drinking, cheating, dosing, shagging. Do I get that? That's for the show. That's what stuff, man. <laughs> Go on, there, tipping. Okay, all right. What are you saying to me, man? You're, you're not speaking English. Okay, we need. Final question, Mr. Malarkey. Do you really believe you're a leprechaun? Do you believe I'm a leprechaun? I believe I asked the question, Mr. Malarkey. I believe you did. Why don't you stew on that for a little while? I'll get back to you. <laughs> well, is there any last thing you'd like to say to the people of Portland in, uh, in, in helping you achieve your goal? Absolutely. Help me achieve my goal. Thank you. Mr. Tippy, how do you feel about the outcome of the case? Yes, hello there. We are, we're very happy with the outcome of the case. We believe justice has been served today. However, I should point out that I'm no longer representing Mr. Malarkey. I'm, in fact, representing Mrs. Malarkey, who is the plaintiff in the case of Malarkey versus Malarkey. Uh, she had no prenup agreement with Mr. Malarkey, and so we believe that she is entitled to half of the park property. Uh, I've advised her of her rights and we are proceeding with the case. The first step in that case was serving an injunction this morning in order to retain the name of Mill Ends Park. We believe that it's a historical landmark and the city deserves to keep the name of the park. Portland says I can stay on as official ambassador to the wee people. I think I like that. I think I'm going to go into politics now. I think I'll be good at that. People like me. It's because I'm handsome. Excuse me. You know, sometimes justice doesn't just serve the rich. It doesn't just serve the important people in the world. Occasionally, just occasionally, Justice really does serve the little guy. The little guy. <laughs> Pot of gold, my ass. chase the ambulances ourselves, we have somebody who does that for us. The city's opinion, well, as a representative of the city, I, well, I can't even do that, that was terrible. Let's go back, let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, I think he thinks he's a leprechaun. Okay, that's cool. Novelty gimmick, whatever. This is good shit, man! <laughs> I'm starting to have a great time! Yeah. 
Um, if you take the hat off, uh, we have a big shiny spot in your hair. That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. Is your lawyer a pansy? Oh, he's a lily. <laughs> Complete and total. Fuck. Get off. That's me. I'm, I'm slight. I'm gonna have you in the bushes, yeah. <laughs> oh, wishes! <laughs> hey, boss, don't we need to get going here? Yeah, we do. Come on. Down a bank. Nigga! Surgical, I told you I could do it. I'm out of key, my president! <laughs> <laughs>